okay so in this video let's see how we can add um add page functionality okay so we want to be able to create pages so first thing we need to do is let's go to our text editor and let's add in a page called add.php so inside of pages we're going to do add.php and in there we're just going to require the header and footer files okay so let's do require once let's do underscore dir dot and then just do four slash it's like this includes then four slash header dot php let's just duplicate um, the same for the footer as well and then we're going to write the contents inside okay so footer dot php so now we just need to do an issue with a text there that says add page and then right underneath it we're just going to um, output the ret return page error okay so this doesn't need a class just a div and then in here let's just open a php tag and say echo return page error okay so this just returns any errors which have occurred whilst we are adding a page and next let's just create a form with a um, cl no class actually it's just a method um, of that's going to submit action that's going to submit to process add so we're going to create that page in a moment and then inside the form let's create a form group there so we just um, actually to save some time let's um, just write that once and then we're going to paste it uh, many times okay so we do div class and form group and then inside of the form group we're going to have label um, for title and then we're going to say title and then we're going to have an input there of type text okay with a name of title and it won't have any value so let's just give it an id of title and let's give it a class of form control this is just bootstrap specific okay so save some time what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this so since a page has a title and a body so we're gonna um, paste here second for body and then third for um, published okay and finally we want for the submit button as well okay so let's go from the bottom and just change this to submit and it will need a label and it's um id and, and the class won't be um form control okay so it will need a name as well so let's change this from form control to um, button so btn and then btn primary and um, let's add one more class to it pull right so that it is at the right part of the page okay and the value let's say create so that the um, text on the form button there reads that okay so next for the publish um, we're going to need an input type of checkbox and the id will be published so let's change these to published and the value will be um one okay so since um the uh, in checkbox um evaluates to true or false by default it's going to be checked so let's um, put the value one there okay so basically we want the default to um be one all right so now let's put in the um, text of publish so the checkbox works uh, slightly differently from the others in the way that they're formatted so we need to put the, the um, input inside of the label okay so that it looks nice bootstrap can nice um, style it nicely so we need to put publish with a question mark there asking the user whether they want to publish that or not while they're creating the page so next for the body let's just put in um the label for that and then we're going to change this as well to body okay so instead of input let's say text area and then let's just close that text area okay and the value is not needed for text area and the type as well is not needed so we're going to remove that okay so let's head over to our page and see what we have so pages for slash add dot php says call to undefined function return page error on line four okay so let's see what's happening here return page error so obviously in the um, login page here index there is a return page error there so it means that we need to include this um, functions um, .php file there just before the header okay so we'll go to the top here and then we'll add that there let's just change the parts a bit so that you can find it okay 
dot forward slash dot dot forward slash okay actually let's go ahead and add in the config as well so right at the top here since we're going to be needing some um, configurations to connect to db and stuff like that so we put in the config first then the functions okay so let's head over here refresh and now everything looks nice so we can just type in um, this here and publish but when we submit it says page doesn't exist okay okay so we made a mistake in where we put in the text for the text um, checkbox here uh, it should be right after the input um, field here and then also the for should not be for public title it should be for publish that's why the checkbox was looking a bit weird so we come back here refresh as you can see now the publish is right after um, the checkbox okay and we also remove the class for form control on the checkbox it's no longer needed so we come here refresh and then now this is what we need okay and if we put in some space here we'll have a space after the checkbox and then that's where the text will be okay so let's go ahead now and create the process um add page so now page process add php so this is what's going to process um all the data that we submit on the add page okay so just like the um 